Kingdom Chapter 602 Raiboku's Formations At almost the exact same instance that the sun rose and cast its glow. It was as if a star pistol had gone off with the men of the Haishin unit charging, sprinting forward like bats out of the gates of hell. Hurrah! With Akio fallen and Ohan defeated. The commander leading Quinn's right wing on this most critical final day plows forward straight and true like an arrow. Unleash it all. Bring out every last drop of strength you hold within you. Ah, cut them all down. Jura, boa, go, go, forward. Garrison, is it really okay for them to be going all out like this right from the start? Okay, more like this is the only option we have. What Carrollton desired right now, more than anything else, was speed. The plan was for Quinn's right wing to break through the enemy ranks, then pincer right Boku with Osin's army. To achieve this would require them to bypass the Zhao left wing. The earlier the better. Osin's just going forward, while Quinn's going to the side. The question is, how much strength does Zhao's left wing have left? It all depends on that. However, we got Rumbly, hmm? It was at this moment. What is it? The noise. It's from the other side of the forest. That something unexpected would occur. Isn't that rumble? Don't. Don't tell me it's... Without waiting for their right wing to punch through and get into position, Osun's center army was already beginning their advance towards Raiboku. Whoa. Archers fan out on left and right infantry. Advance with fourfold formation. Hooah! Cavalry, move to the sides. Yes, sir. Up first, the Vance army. 10,000 men under the command of uh, Denremi, third of Osun's commanders. In some plays. Uh? Something's coming? Hmm? Here come the Quinn Curs, men. First rank. Ray yourselves. Hooah! They got their spears and shields. Raiboku-sama, the Osun army, has begun moving. What's going on? Shouldn't they wait for their right wing? And they immediately sent out 10,000. Moving for the right wing is ready. That must mean... No, mistaking it. Osun's army has started moving. But why? Was it an idea for them to move only after we broke through Zhao's left wing? By choosing to face off against Raiboku now, General Osun has changed the plan. He's changed it? With this sort of board, there's two ways we can tackle it. The first is for us to punch through Zhao's left wing, then hit right Boku's side, force him to turn his attention towards us. The Nosen will come in from the front, to act as the heavy hitter. And the other way is the exact opposite of that. The opposite? First, let the center army clash head on and turn right Boku's attention there which will then open up his flank for us to exploit. I'm inside the Aurora Kraken. In that situation, it falls to us to perform the most important of all objectives. What? Long story short, if I change the plan like this, General Wilson intends for us and the rest of Queen's right wing to be the ones to take Raiboku's head. Huh? Got Shin, the big poop. Hey, they're clashing. Wilson's center army against Raiboku's center army. Clashing, sweep them away. Two force glide and wait, what? Okay, when soldiers flying up, ah, push, push them back. The heck, they aren't even budging. Get on top of. Ah, what's going on? Why are we moving? Push, keep pushing. They like a rock. That's quite a defense. Hmm. Deploy left and right arcs. Yes, sir. And like his squealy formations? Crack them open with the waves of the snake formation. <laughs> okay. Some sort of wave type charge? Soften the inside of the front ranks. Set 2 and 8 as hard points. 10 and 15 2. 33 and 
or 23 and 29 as well. Fixed directions. Incoming cavalry and their horses flying up. Halting point formation. Whoa. They instantly, they instantly saw right through how the Remy snake formation works. And it wasn't Raiboku who did it either. But the officers who are on the field right now. Remy's knowledge of war runs deep indeed. So this is the Raiboku army. This will not be an easy opponent than Remy. Archer teams. Forward. Target the key points. Kemosama. That sudden attack with the wave of cavalry was Weasley. Aye. Weasley blew them away. But know that there was nothing easy about that execution. They saw our sturdy defense and tried to launch an attack that utilized angler momentum. Our men saw that and countered it by creating an opposing force. Huh? Something like that. There's nothing to get worked up about. If it's just defending, then we can sit here and weather anything they throw at us. Even if our left wing let the enemy through, and they came to attack us, they will not break us. With the, uh, with the Quinn having run out of food and provisions, victory requires us only to stand and defend. No matter how many times we um, PLT launch themselves at us, um, we normally hold out until they are skin and bones. Hmm? Okay, messer. I bring a report, a top priority report, from the city of Gyo. Is of the highest level of urgency. Good, huh? From you. Hey, they're clashing. Huh? Raiboku has changed his formations. Well, not only that, but he's assuming an offensive stance. But why? <laughs> Foo. Got Usen. Not ready. Are there more? Usen has something planned. Mm. Raiboku found out. Man. <laughs> so, Shin has the opportunity to like, take Raiboku's head. It, that's what Osin is planning. That'd be a feat for Shin. Hmm. I wonder if they would give it to him. Or does Osin want it himself? I, I think Osin would want it himself. I think anyone would want it himself. And <laughs> Charging and Raiboku's army's just like, like they're a rock. Man, I can't even push them back. <laughs> How are they gonna like get past this? Now they're taking a defensive formation? Man. Hmm. <laughs> Got hands the the Zhao. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard battle for Shin them. Two forces glide. They're not even like moving. Man, that's crazy. Doing their snake formation. I don't we really, I don't think we saw uh we seen this before. Is this new? And if it wasn't, it's been a while since we saw it. Man, tossing those horses up, halting point formation. Man. <sighs> hmm. Be careful, Shin doesn't like leap up and destroy them from above. And death from above. Man. And Osin's. Plotting something. Raiboku's changed his formation. Not only that, but he is assuming an offensive stance. But why? Something's happening. That's what the messenger was there for. Hmm. Well, that is the end of volume 55. Hmm. I wonder what. I guess we'll see what Raiboku changed for. Well, um, what are your thoughts? It's amazing. Um, and if you're new, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.